Hello and welcome to the Litmus tutorial videos. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Litmus Chaos Hub in detail. What is Litmus Chaos Hub? How can you use it? And how you can contribute a chaos experiment back to the hub? I'm Uma Mukara, one of the maintainers on the Litmus project. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at what is Chaos Hub and how to use Chaos Hub, what are the steps involved in running a Chaos Experiment and how you can use Chaos Hub uh, to simplify that process. And uh, we'll uh, briefly touch upon uh, the steps involved in contributing a Chaos Experiment back to the Hub. So let's take a quick look at or do a quick recap of um, what happens when you do a Chaos Experiment run. Right. So you, when you install, uh, these are the components that uh, are already available on your cluster and Chaos Hub is out there with uh, certain set of experiments that are readily available. And on the cluster, you have an operator and CRDs and uh, some metrics exporters uh, or events exported. Right. Um, so all you need to really do is uh, create certain yaml files a chaos experiment yaml you don't need to really create it you can just get them from the hub and uh, the chaos engine is the one that ties an experiment to a target application so again you get this sample chaos engine as well on the hub you tune it and you uh, run that so whenever chaos engine is created uh, the chaos operator watches and it runs uh, the chaos runner pod which runs the chaos jobs um, which are nothing but uh, the actual experiments and you get the chaos result so this is uh, really what is required uh, the two things that you required is uh, the chaos engine and chaos experiment yaml files and uh, on top of that you really need to set up um, an RBAC service account cluster role binding uh, etc so in brief, um, this is Chaos Hub. You really tune the experiments that are available and use them. Um, that should give you a good start. And then you start applying um, the same learnings to create your own experiments that are specific to your application or whatever you find missing in the hub. And uh, SDKs are available. You can use uh, Go SDK or Ansible or Python SDKs uh, to create experiments in your uh, preferred language. And typically, if it's not a proprietary experiment, um, you would want to uh, contribute back that experiment uh, to the hub so that your users or general in general community um can uh, manage or maintain that experiment uh, going further so let's take a quick look at the actual hub uh, this is the website you have a chaos page in this page you will get uh, details a little bit more details about uh, what is chaos hub and why chaos hub uh, what is chaos hub is nothing but uh, like any other uh, charts hub um, it's it's a public repository for chaos experiments and why do you need a chaos hub or a set of chaos experiments is you cannot uh, possibly write chaos for all other services apart from your application the resilience of the service uh, which is uh, run by your application uh, really depends on many other components so the in fact uh, what we are saying or trying to say here is more than 90% of the resilience of your service depends on uh, components or services that are outside your application. Now, Kubernetes itself uh, plays a major role, whether it's implemented or there are any vulnerabilities in the implementation, etc. And also a lot on other cloud native services. So you need to make sure that they are resilient and you need to have chaos experiments for all of them. So it in short, you need a lot of chaos uh, experiments. Um, that's why you need uh, Chaos Hub. So if you take a look at uh, the Chaos Hub itself, so you will see two parts to this, uh, one with uh, the dark background charts. These are nothing but a group of experiments 
put together uh, typically you might want to install all generic experiments um, so generic uh, there are about uh, a bunch of uh, generic experiments here if you want to install all of them uh, you can get an ml file by clicking at this uh, group card and uh, use this uh, ml file and just install them you will get it right um, this can be done after um, you learn um, all the experiments uh, or how to run an experiment etc but um, let's let's look at uh, one experiment in detail and what can chaos hub uh, do to help you learn how to run this experiment so here we are taking a look at pod delete and um, so let's go there so this is a detailed page of, of one experiment and you have a developer guide uh, on the github and the sample video application but primarily it has uh, three sample ml files uh, that are specific to the pod delete one is the experiment itself where you can tune a few things and then there is a, a service account that you need to set up what permissions you need to uh, provide uh, against what resources so that will be specific to the experiment where the target um, chaos is happening and uh, the other important is chaos engine so one thing that the hub provides you is an online editor um, so you can take this yaml file edit it right here uh, for example in this chaos engine file uh, you need to uh, change the namespace right uh, by default it is default so you can um, you can go and replace this um, namespace with uh, default with uh, let's say I want to write uh, nginx right uh, so you can replace all of them you can uh, download it and running so it has also has a syntax checker um, for example uh, it has uh, an online syntax checker which is very useful uh, typically um, for yaml editing so that's uh, an online editor feature of the hub which uh, many users said is needed and now with this online editor running an experiment uh, is pretty straightforward and, and then there is documentation that's available uh, for any troubleshooting so that's how you run and uh, that's what chaos hub can uh, provide you to run an experiment and just a little more information on um, the experiments itself so in the generic category you will see some cards are marked with this yellow colored uh, information called infra chaos infra chaos experiments are they do generally have a higher blast radius because you're introducing chaos into the infrastructure and uh, but overall you have some uh, infrastructure level experiments in terms of uh, node cpu memory hog or uh, node taint uh, node drain all that stuff and you have um, the kubernetes resource specific experiments that cover all types of uh, pod chaos and uh, container chaos network chaos and uh, disk chaos you will also see a kubelet service skill which is generally um, used as an advanced uh, chaos experiment um, kubelet service also can go down and you uh, you want to make sure that uh, uh, your application or service is resilient for such a fault so you can use this uh, kubelet service uh, kill and there is a, a recently contributed experiment called docker service kill as well so and then you have some application specific experiments for uh, kafka or uh, uh, cassandra um, and we there are many uh, more that are coming and uh, you have few things for open ebs in fact many of them uh, which you can use to um, test the resilience of uh, your open ebs implementation so that's about uh, how chaos hub uh, can help you or what it contains and uh, use the online editor feature hopefully it's very um, uh, you will find it very useful 
So now let's uh, look at uh, how to contribute uh, back to your your experiment back to the hub. You want to do a contribution back to the hub. Uh, you you'll start creating a new experiment using uh, a developer guide. You can look at uh, the contributing guidelines or how to create new experiments in the developer guide and um, so it's pretty simple um, you you clone litmus and uh, you take uh, the attributes dot yaml that is uh, required uh, it's a metadata for an experiment and uh, once you fill in the attribute.yaml, uh, you run this command. This is for Go-based experiment, and it uh, um, creates the skeleton of your experiments. Whatever the name that you create, uh, you provided, that's the sample experiment that uh, get created. And uh, then you can write your um, your chaos logic within it, and uh, you can test it. There are some um, Octeto CLI uh, which uh, is being used in this case to automatically build your uh, experiment and deploy it into your uh, your um, system. So it, it's not it's about not only creating an experiment uh, structure for you, but the build environment to build an experiment is also set up using the Octeto CLI and then you can run it and you can test it and finally you send a PR into this uh, charts repository. So it's uh, pretty simple and we are anyway available on the Litmus channel uh, on Kubernetes Slack in case you need any help. Um, we'll be very happy to mentor um, you through creating new experiments and contributing them back to um, the hub. So that's all we have folks uh, in this uh, short tutorial. Uh, have fun with uh, Chaos Hub and running Chaos experiments. So till then, um, thank you very much for your audience and taking a look at uh, this tutorial.